But first, we are over here in the Price Chopper kitchen beautifying some pumpkins with Carly Ray, And we've had so much fun this morning. Guys, we actually already got to start. Look, I put my mark on it right there, a little flower. She did. Okay, but I couldn't have done it without Carly Ray, of course. So you got to tell me, these are so exquisite. You would have a different pumpkin than anyone else on the block. How would you get the idea for this? Thank you so much. So I primarily do floral watercolor paintings, and so I kind of took that and wanted to kind of mess around with some pumpkins, so flowers are always my go-to. And it was so fun to just kind of deck them out. And the paint pens are a really great way to do it where you kind of have a little more control. But. She's talking about these paint pens right here. They give you so much precision. In fact, I'm going to show you a great example. Carly Rae did that just this morning. Yes, so I kind of start with that simple little design and work my way out until it becomes something more like this. Like this one did probably take about two hours, but I find it very therapeutic to just kind of keep adding to the design and kind of making it a little bit expanded around the whole pumpkin. And is this good for all levels? Like right now, I am owning these polka dots right here. Yes, so I like like picking a simple thing you like, whether it's like polka dots or flowers or whatever, and just going for it, kind of repeating the same design. It helps to kind of keep your hand on the pumpkin to hold it steady and just kind of slowly making petals or whatever shape you're going to be doing. If it's going to be like little ghosts or maybe you want something a little bit more um, simple stripes, any sort of patterns and things. She just gave me a new idea with the stripes and the yeah. ghosts. I mean, that sounds like <laughs> so much fun. And also, do you have some of those videos and some of those cool pumpkin photos that you were talking about? Where do you get your inspiration for those? Yes, so Pinterest is an awesome. There's so many great things that you can find on Pinterest. Um, just kind of thinking about my own artwork and translating my watercolors onto the pumpkins. Animals are always one of my favorites, holiday stuff, Halloween. I love seeing that giant sunflower and the happy Halloween. That was so different. Thank you. Yeah, and that was amazing. So I teach a lot of creative workshops, mostly watercolor, but I did the pumpkin one recently. And those were actually all ideas by um, local people that attended the workshop. So those ones weren't even mine. Those were my students that did an incredible job. Oh. And that was just a chick. She's like all about sunflowers and she just killed it and came in and did an awesome job. And It was so beautiful. And, so and people can actually go and see you at Holiday Mart. That's your next big thing coming up? Yes. So I also do a lot of local events selling my artwork. And so the next one is Holiday Mart. And that is huge. It's Thursday through Sunday. And so if you stop by my booth during that and say better Casey and that you saw me on uh, the show, I'll have a special gift for you. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. I bet everyone's wondering, okay, what's the special what's a little good surprise? Be? Yeah. Okay, now your designs, they're a little bit better than mine, okay? I got just this <laughs> little flower over here. So what are some tips you can give me to make it next level? Yes, we want to make sure we get it next level. So really <laughs> simple flowers. I really like when they just have kind of like five simple petals like this. Um, five. Yes. Wow. I like like five or six like this. It just kind of keeps it simple. Bigger I feel like is better on these because when you're going to be seeing them from far away, mm -hmm. they end up being a little bit more bold. Um, adding some leaves and things for variation as well. And you can add some textures like I'm a little raccoon going for the sparkles over there, right? Yes, I love. So the rhinestones, you can hot glue them on. You can just put them like in the center of the flower. They look really cute. And then I also have some glitter. Glitter gets kind of crazy messy, but you can put them on the stem with some Mod Podge, and that works really well. Mod Podge is kind of like a glue mm -hmm. that you paint on. And that looks beautiful. One thing I wanted to touch on, these are actually faux pumpkins, but you can do it on yes. real one as well? Very true, yeah. So the paint pens work well on a real pumpkin or a fake pumpkin. I got these ones at Michael's. They're like eight bucks. Mm -hmm. You can get smaller ones for four, and they still have those there right now this time of year. Okay, well, that sounds so fun. Now, we got the glitter around here. Uh, you said that we could do stripes, but is there anything we could do around the base of where that stem was? Yes, so around the base of the stem, you um, can do whatever. You can work your design all the way up there. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you want with them. And I really like the paint pens. I like also using, like if you want to do stripes, you can add tape and that'll help you get like thick, thick straight lines, kind of taping them off and making those edges perfect. But you're doing an awesome job drawing oh. straight there with those stripes. Thank you. And it's a good idea to have a practice pumpkin after all. Yes, it is. I like the practice pumpkin thing. Okay. Sure. Carly Ray, thank you so much.